Hi there, this is Payana and welcome to my book club. And today's book is Not Before Sundown by Joanna Sinisalo. Joanna Sinisalo is a Finnish author who was awarded the Finlandia Prize for Literature for this very book. Michael is a photographer and on his way home from work one evening when he comes across a strange creature right beside the door to his apartment. This creature turns out to be a baby troll and seems to be in a rather bad way. So Michael decides to take it home with him and take care of it. With the help of a friend of his who is a vet, Michael succeeds in nursing the creature back to health. Only he can't let on the nature of the animal he keeps in his apartment, for trolls are supposed to be extinct. He has to hide it from his neighbours, his friends and his colleagues. Michael starts doing research in order to find out more about this impromptu guest of his. This is a world in which trolls, although now thought to be extinct, were a real thing and there is documentation out there. His proximity with the young troll has interesting side effects, most notably the fact that Michael seems to get way more attention from admirers, for the creature seems to secrete a hormone which has an aphrodisiac effect. And when he is asked to do a photo shoot for a famous brand of jeans, the photographer leaps on the opportunity to involve his new friend. So I love the way this book creates a fantasy world, which is in fact our own world, in which there's just simply another species that exists. Um, for there are a lot of theories out there who try and prove the existence of trolls and, and Bigfoot and stuff like that. There are those who firmly believe in their existence, and I think every culture has a sort of troll or a yeti, or, a, or here in France we have the Bassahuan, and there are those who do firmly believe that they exist, and it's rather sweet, so it's not that big a leap from, from reality. The way Michael tries to document himself by looking up uh, scientific studies or zoological studies, which are sort of interspersed all the way through the book uh, in between chapters, is just absolutely charming and kind of just lends more credibility to, this, uh, to the narrative. It's wonderful. Overall, this is a lovely story of friendship uh, between a man, an extraordinary creature, and, uh, and his journey to try and protect it from his fellow humans. And of course, he reaches a moment when he, he can't live with this situation anymore. It's getting more and more stressful for him, more and more difficult to hide this animal for his friends. And, uh, and he realises that a solution needs to be found. So this is Joanna Sinisalo's first novel, and as I said, it was greeted with the Finlandia Prize for Literature, and it is well-deserved, because it's a very well-constructed book with interesting characters, and it kind of goes to odd places. Um, Michael's gay, and he has a sort of... He goes to a gay bar with the, all his friends <laughs> seem to be gay, and, uh, and it creates this sort of quite amusing ambiance when he gets male admirers coming towards him and sort of gravitating around him. And not being able to get away from that so it's, it's very very sweet and, and it has this it has it does kind of have a certain darkness to it and uh and yes the notion that trolls are a real thing which is great to bring sort of fantasy into the real world i really do like that a lot so yes um not before sundown by joanna sinisalo so thank you for watching my video i do hope you enjoyed it and uh, do subscribe, do share what I do, and, uh, and I'll see you all soon. Bye-bye.